What's happening, Americans? <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Do you feel blessed? Do you know that you are? Do you think you're not? Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God. I thank you so much for who we are, who you've made us to be in your image even, Lord, in your image people after your own heart, Lord, no matter what we've done. We get a fresh start every day. We get a new start. We get grace for today. Lord, we thank you for all that. We thank you for the wonderful blessing that you are and that what you've made us blessings to others. Father, I pray for revelation that people get that deep into their spirit, into their heart, into their minds, and that they'll be changed, Lord, and they can just ruin this earth ruin this planet with your love lord thank you for it in the name of your son jesus amen well do you feel blessed now <clears throat> maybe not uh let's see it seemed like i had some business i wanted to talk about first maybe not all right well that's okay let's get right in the word uh, I'm going to read some scripture tonight. I said earlier today I was going to split my online church tonight. What do you mean by that, Jeremy? Well, I don't like uh, sugarcoating anything, and I, I refuse to. Okay, I won't. I'm going to tell you the truth, but the truth is offensive to some people. You see... Uh, Sometimes you can say things like, uh, like, I speak in tongues. I do. Uh, you want to know the truth? Almost all my friends do, too. Uh, I don't know, I know a whole lot of people that don't. But it's because that's who the Lord has surrounded me with. You want to know why? I can answer the question easy. But, um... Uh, also, I believe in miracles because I am one, but uh, I see them every day. I see uh, not just, um, oh, it could be a miracle. I'm talking about real miracles, uh, recreative miracles. Uh, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Okay, we'll get in. We'll get into some really cool stuff at some point. But um, matter of fact, I'll take you with me to go do some cool stuff at some point. Sorry, my studio is uh, not the best, but it's getting better. So, uh, how are we doing? Y'all got any questions or anything? Be sure to leave them on there, and you can share these videos. I I don't care. Please do. All right, so check this out. I'm going to read something. We'll see where we're going. The Lord led me here earlier, and uh, I just want to share it with you. <clears throat> this is going to be out of uh, Luke's Gospel. And by the way, let me just show you something. You know why Dr. Luke wrote, wrote his... Uh, the gospel that bears his name. Do you have any idea why? It says, uh, uh, not that one. Oh. That's a modern translation. I, uh, contemporary English. I, uh, I don't want to sound churchy because I, I dislike it so much, but I want to have, I want to give you the word, the truth, okay, but I want to give it to you in the language that you speak, not what Christianese is what I call it, I, yeah, people have, uh, have, uh, tried to rebuke me for 
call, saying the word Christianese or even telling them. I've, I've asked people, hey, why, why do you speak that language? What are you talking about? Christianese. What is that? That's not language. Yeah, it is what you speak. I don't even know what you're saying. And I go to church. I read the Bible. I study. I have no idea what you're saying. These weird cliches and weird phrases. Uh, okay, preacher, I'll get down. Yeah, okay. Did Jesus speak some sort of weird language? Did he? I'll tell you what he spoke. He spoke Aramaic, which Aramaic, which was a broken uh, mix of Hebrew. It was he spoke redneck. <laughs> he spoke the redneck Oki of the days. What he spoke, you know why? That's what the people spoke where he grew up at. Okay, what do I speak? Redneck Oki. Because guess what? That's where I grew up at. And that's the people I see and talk to. Okay, let's move on. Sorry. PSA. I'm liable to say shit you don't like. <laughs> okay, maybe I said that for a fact. But anyways, I'm, uh, I'm working on it. We're in Luke. He wrote this book. Because it seemed good to him. It said, O Theophilus, lover of God, it seemed good to me to write these things down. So he did. Okay, so we're in Luke 11. And we'll go to chapter 5. Then he said to them, <clears throat> Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says to him, Friend, lend me three loaves. Uh, for a friend of mine has come to me from a journey. And I have nothing to set before him. And from inside he answered and said, Don't bother me. The door's already been shut. And my kids and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because of he, he's his friend, yet because of his persistence, he'll get up and give him as much as he needs. Won't you? Won't you? Okay, so I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who seeks, for everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Now suppose one of your fathers is asked by his son for a fish. Will he not give him will he not give him a snake instead of a fish or he won't give him a snake instead of a fish, will he? Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him will he not give him a scorpion, will he? Or he will not give him a scorpion, will he? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. Father, I just ask that you rain your Spirit down upon those watching right now. And those that, all those that will join us, Father, from here and forever, as long as this video floats around the world wide web, Lord, and the interwebs. Let folks get tangled in your spirit in the name of Jesus. And he was casting out a demon, and it was mute, talking about Jesus. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Hmm. Sounds familiar. But some of them said he casts out demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons. Others, to test him, were demanding of him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts, and he said to them, Any kingdom divided against itself is laid waste. A house against itself falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? First off, it won't. But uh, <clears throat> For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I by Be <clears throat> Beelzebul cast out demons, by who do your sons cast them out? So they will be your judges. <laughs> but if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, he takes away from, he takes away from him all his armor on which he had relied and distributes his plunder. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit goes out of a man, it passes through waterless places seeking rest. And not finding any, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. 
And when it comes, it finds its sweat and put in order. It goes and takes along seven other spirits more evil than itself. And they'll go and live there. And the last state of the man becomes worse than the first. Why does he go get seven more worse than him? The easy answer is because obviously he wasn't strong enough. Right? And uh, so he's going to go get six or seven more badder dudes than him. So he can try to hang on. But guess what? He can't hang on. So uh, while Jesus was saying these things, one woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breasts on which you have nursed. But he said, on the contrary, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. So let me ask you, are you blessed? There's another blessing right there. Just hearing me read the word of God and you observe the things wherewith I have spoken. I just spoke the truth to you. I'm not trying to be difficult to you. I'm not trying to bring something uh, challenging to you. I may sometime challenge you guys. But uh, I love you. I do. Uh, I was in a, my anger management meeting today. And uh, uh, I don't have an anger problem. Okay, I don't. Uh, they laugh every time I come in there. Uh, I haven't been angry in a long time but also to go along with our story tonight i had a spirit of wrath cast out of me and let me tell you something it it tried to come back with seven dudes better than it i mean this thing only came out with prayer and fasting this was a serious thing i had no idea i had this thing from when i was five years old Oh, times over the years I yielded to this thing, okay? Uh, I hate to say it this way, but it probably saved my life a few times. One time in particular in Mexico. Uh, I'm not going to give it no credit, though. That's all it gets, because I'm not trying to have it come back. The Lord didn't even tell me what its name was for two or three days, because it was so serious about it. But anyways... I'm glad it's gone. I don't need it because the Lord's all I need. Me and the Lord are a majority. Watch. Watch and see. I, I guarantee that's true. So, uh, on the contrary, blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it, observe it. Uh, the best thing I can tell you as a friend, as a man of God, as a human authorized to uh, subdue and have dominion of this planet is get this book read it study it learn it find out who you are find out who he is and find out who you are in him uh, I'll I'll teach you all I can uh, I until the Lord tells me different um, I'll be here every day with you um, uh, if you'll send me requests on there I've already had a few and I'm getting to those I'll uh, I'll address situations I'll address um, subjects of the Bible if you got questions about Anything, any spiritual gifts, anything. All I'm going to do is, yeah, Brother Jason, there is hope for you, bro. There is. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, any, um, anything, I will answer anything I can to the best of my ability. I'm not going to BS you. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to wipe your butt for you. Put powder on your ass. No. I'm not, but I'm also not going to throw 
a cold, wet towel on your fire either if you're burning hot for the Lord. I will tell you the truth. Uh, I will tell you to get your crap right if you're messing up. But I'm not going to just tell you to do that without a way to get there. Let my troubles and struggles and trials and um, journey be a lesson for all. Okay, um, quickly, I met the Lord um, 2008, April 19th, 2008. I was... Uh, the same piece of scripture right here, except that Matthew, the in Matthew, Matthew twelve thirty, uh, it talks about it. It talks about the um, unpardonable sin and everything. And I thought that might be where the Lord was going tonight because uh, um, a lot of times people say, uh, "Oh, he's speaking tongues, speaking tongues of the devil." Yeah, that's funny. In the Bible. If you knew your Bible, you'd say that, uh, or you'd see where someone said that um, the unpardonable sin, someone named Jesus, said uh, attributing um, the uh, things of the Holy Spirit to the devil would be the unpardonable sin. That's how I see it. Uh, you tell me that the speaking tongues of the devil, that's, that's the counting thing of God and saying that the devil did it. I never seen the devil speak in tongues. I used to run with the devil wide open. You ever been in a bar? Been in a bar? Seen anybody in a bar? In a club speaking in tongues? No. Sorry, I haven't. But uh, <laughs> here's the reason why I say this. Because listen, don't be an idiot. The Lord has a. Uh, mercy on those folks because they just they don't forgive them lord they don't know what they're doing okay you don't they don't know the people i love people i used to have a hard time with people i didn't want to i ran from the lord okay can y'all handle this part i ran from the lord because i didn't want to be in ministry with people like you, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I hated people. I didn't like people. Maybe it was the thing that I carried around with me. I don't know. But guess what? That's changed. I love you so much. I'm sorry, my nose itches. That's the business. Thank you. Wow. Now I got some business. Don't let me forget it. So, uh, now I, uh, I love people. The Lord told me, get that new phone out. Get on Facebook. And you talk to the people every day. Here's the business I'm, I've got. It's my nose. It's not real business. I mean, it's not really my nose. It is, though. My nose hurts, okay? I've been waking up every morning. Bloody nose, pain, itchy. Is it possible that there's mold or something in the um, air doing that? This is my question for you tonight. I have no idea. I don't know if somebody's researched this or not. I'm asking the uh, hundred or whatever so folks that watch me every day. I still don't know why you do, but... All I know is I'll be here every day. Someone can figure out why my nose is so jacked up. I'd appreciate it. But <clears throat> I think it might be black mold or something. I've never had a problem with it before. I know I haven't been snorting anything. Uh, it just starts since I moved in this house, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, it started in jail a while back. But I got out and it was fine. And then come in here and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So unless, uh, short of going and seeing it, your nose and throat doctor. I'm about to cast this thing out. I just want to, uh, 
fix it for the rest and future people, future folks. If uh, if it's a problem, I want to fix it. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> all right, so I met the Lord in a jail cell when he told me if I'm not with him, I'm against him. If I'm not gathering into the kingdom, I'm scattering. All right, yeah, I was scattering. I was cooking dope and doing all kinds of dumb crap 13 years ago, 12 years ago. Uh, I was. I've uh, been accused of it since then, but I haven't done it since then. i um, been accused of a lot of dumb stuff that I didn't do, but uh, I did do some dumb stuff. Let me show you something. There was a... Uh, there was a, and this is to set you free. This is to set you free. You know who I'm talking about. There's something I was struggling with every day. Every day I'd go to the Lord. I'd say, hey, forgive me, Lord. I, I knew he forgave me. I rolled on. Hear him again, Lord. Hear him again, Lord. Hear him again, Lord. Every day, every day. Hear him again, Lord. Same thing. Hear him again, Lord. One day I got quiet and the Lord said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, son? What are you talking about? I said, you know what I'm talking about, Lord. Here I am again for the same thing from yesterday. He said, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Because he said he would forget those things. He said, their sin and inequities I would remember no more. When you asked him to forgive you, he forgave you. And he didn't remember it anymore. So let that set you free tonight, okay? Father, we thank you for your forgiveness. You're free. You are free. And I'll see you in the next video.